Do you want to improve your towing experience and save money on your hitch? If so, you're going to love this video. I'm going to show you how I switched from my fifth wheel pin box to a gooseneck pin box and how it made a huge difference in my ride quality, safety and convenience. Plus, I'll show you how easy it is to install, use and how it works. Welcome back to the channel. If you saw last week's video, I mentioned that we had another upgrade coming for our RV. I thought it might take a couple of weeks before I received the item, but it shipped to us very quickly. So in this week's video, we're going to switch out our Anderson Ultimate Connection Hitch and standard fifth wheel pin box, and we're going to replace it with a gooseneck pin box. We've been hauling with the Anderson Ultimate Connection fifth wheel system for the past three years. I have to say, I haven't had a single complaint about the performance of this hitch. The Anderson system is a type of fifth wheel hitch that uses a ball instead of a traditional kingpin and jaw connection. It allows you to tow the fifth wheel trailer with a gooseneck hitch or a standard rail mount in your truck bed. The Anderson Ultimate Hitch System is designed to be lightweight, strong, easy to install, and compatible with most fifth wheel trailers. Some of the benefits of this system is it provides more clearance between the cab and the trailer, making it easier to maneuver in tight spaces. It can be removed or installed by one person in minutes. Hooking up the Anderson will probably prove to be easier than the new system. The ball on it sits so much higher, I can look out the back window and drive right up underneath it. And the Anderson's got a funnel that guides the ball into the coupler, and that eliminates the need to perfectly align the ball to the kingpin. Uh, it also has a remote cable that allows you to engage or disengage the coupler. The system isn't a bad system. I've been pleased with it so far. My only complaint so far is that because the ball is so high, I've got to raise the camper up so much higher to get it off the truck. There have been a couple of uncomfortable situations over the past three years, but a lot more good experiences than bad, but why not try to improve on those? So I'm not going to bash the equipment. In fact, if anyone's interested in the hitch, let me know in the comments. Right now you're probably yelling at the TV, but which system are you going to? Well, let's take a look. That's right. We're going with Gen Y. We got us a Gen Y gooseneck. It has an articulated suspension on the connector that should help smooth out the ride nicely. It should eliminate the need to have to jack up the camper so high to unload it from the truck, and there should never be any question of equipment failure. I'm looking forward to not having a hitch in the bed of the truck when unhooked. In this video, we'll be doing the installation, and after the 1,000 mile break-in period, we'll do a follow-up video on the performance of it. The coupler attaches to the kingpin right here. I have it in the backward position here, but you can also switch this thing around so that it goes forward. And what this would do is it sets the camper further back away from the cab of the truck when you're hauling. But it also has a tendency to set it closer to the tailgate. I tried it this way at first, and then I realized that I could turn it back around like this. And what that does is it actually sets the pin right directly over the axle as a normal fifth wheel would carry but it also gave me more space between my kingpin and the tailgate, and I still had enough room between the front of the camper and the back of the cab of my truck. This coupler is very easy to install. There's a 15 16 bolt right here, and one on the other side, and then what it does is it actually tightens up with four uh, Allen head screws right through here, that tightens it down to it. So installation and removal is quite simple. So to start with, it looks like we're going to need a torque wrench, a 15 16 socket, an adjustable wrench, a hammer and a punch, a couple screwdrivers, and some blocks. All right, we've got all the bolts out. So I'm put this, one this thing should break loose and roll down. Put it on the nose. Yep, perfect. It's going to hang up there a little bit. This doesn't feel like it's that heavy. I'm going to pull these bolts out. Now I should be able to just take it out. Okay. 
pin marches off. Let's get this thing unboxed. This thing looks amazing. So I've blocked this thing up on the back of my truck and I've backed up underneath here and I've got it going in the hole but now it's as far as uh wants to go in the truck it's got it in a little bit of a bind so I have another idea here I'm going to try and get some of these ratchet straps and see if I can put it around it and ratchet it in the rest of the way. this back under there. That's what I'm doing. I'm stuck with that ribbon. I'm gonna back my truck up. Let me raise this thing up again. All right, come on back. Come on. That's good. All right, you want to pull it back forward? Now, what I gotta do is take these out. I almost got this one in there. That one's in there. in the old holes. Time to torque the bolts down to 160. For comparison purposes, this was my old hitch. 
this is what bed of my truck looked like. So when I got somewhere, this is what was left when I was unloaded. Now, it's really not hard to get out. It's only three bolts and one pin, but let me show you what it looks like now, unloaded. This is all that's required in the bed of my truck now. If I need to haul anything flat, the safety chains can be removed and the goose ball can be turned over. So let me show you that. And this is the bed with the ball turned over. And that's it for the installation. It was a really straightforward install, no surprises. It is a very heavy piece to maneuver by oneself, but it's not impossible. As you can see, I had some friends in the park that dropped by and helped me with the heavy lifting. Thanks goes out to Kenny and Rodney for their help. I appreciate it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and useful, especially if you're looking at making the change yourself. As I mentioned earlier, this video only covers the install. I'll do an update video after we have some experience with the hitch and after we've surpassed the 1,000 mile break-in period. So keep an eye out for that. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Our library of content isn't the largest, but we are growing. If you like what we're doing and want to see more, check out our other videos. I'll leave a link in the end screen. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you next week.